Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using the combine tool in Space Claim. Now the combine tool works very similarly. In fact, it is a Boolean operation uh, like you might find in uh, other CAD programs. Uh, but in Space Claim, it's just called combine. And combine uh, can be used to both cut and combine uh, somewhat counterintuitively. By default, the combine tool actually does a cut. Uh, you have to explicitly tell it that you want to combine two objects. So the way that it works is basically we have, you know, these two solids here. And now I could move this, you know, this solid down into this solid and then do a combined cut and it would create an, an impression of this, uh, this spanner into this block. But before I can do that, you know, I have to make sure everything is lined up right. So you'll notice, you know, if I spin this around, you can see the spanner is not aligned with this block. Now I want to move it down. I want it to be sort of flush with this surface. And I want to move it down into the block and create an indentation. So first I need to, I need to reorient this spanner. Now I didn't show you this in a, the previous move tutorial, but you can, there's a little trick you can do with the move tool to align objects with other you know, other faces or other objects. And that's, uh, all you do is you just select this object here. You'll notice now, you know, as before, you know, you have the move tool, this move widget appearing above the spanner, but you'll notice, you know, it's it's not really, it's aligned sort of with the axes here. It's not really aligned with, with the, uh, you know, the, the orientation of the spanner. So what I can do is I can hold down the Alt key and click on, you know, one of these surfaces is going to move the move widget uh, to align with that uh, that surface or face. Uh, so you'll notice so there's this ghosted this ghost image of the move tool. So I'm just going to hold down the Alt uh, and click, and it moves the the uh, the move widget into alignment with that face. So now that I have that done. Um, all I need to do is go over here into the move tool guides and you'll notice this one here at the bottom orient to object. So I just click on that and it's going to say click a reference to rotate the selected handle into alignment with. So I want to rotate this into alignment with this face here. So I just click on that face and there you have that uh, spanner is aligned. And now all we have to do is move it down uh, into this block. Now I could just, you know, click on this, uh, click on this um, axis and then drag it down. Uh, but, you know, I did show you before, you can also use the, the move up to uh, shortcut uh, because we, basically what we want to do is we want to move this spanner so it's sort of halfway embedded into this block. Uh, and by, you know, so I click on the up to command there and then I click on this surface and it's going to move it down to that surface. Uh, so it's going to embed it halfway down into the block uh, just because you know the move widget was at the sort of at the center of the object um, aligned with that uh, sort of that middle surface there so now that I've moved my spanner down into the block um, now I can do my combine so I'm going to click on the combine tool you can also hit I on the keyboard uh, and as I said by default it's going to do a cut now if I want it to do an addition or you know, combine, I would actually have to hold down control. You'll notice when I hold down control, it's sort of uh, this this tool guide becomes uh, larger, indicating that it's in uh, merge mode. And it says click an object to merge target with. But first, I'm going to show you the cut. So just the default behavior of the combine tool. So click a target object, and this is going to be the object uh, that you want to cut from. So I'm going to click on the block, which is going to be our mold. And then it says click to select a cutter object. Press control if you want to merge. Don't want to merge, I want to cut, so I'm just going to click on that spanner and it does the cut. Now you might not have seen, it might not look like anything changed, uh, but in fact what's happened is it's created this kind of this hidden, uh, this this indentation, it's, it's created a negative um, space there uh, that's uh, so I can I can actually if I want to remove that I can click on it and it'll remove it. Uh, you won't see anything change though because we can still see you know, the spanner here. So in fact what I'm going to do is I'm not going to, you know I can click on whatever whatever is in pink to remove it, uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hit escape uh, to get out of the tool so I can preserve all those solids. And now, you know if I triple click on this spanner here I can hide that spanner. 
Uh, and you can see now there's these two objects. So you've got this solid here. So I click on that solid and hover it. You can see it's created this um, this negative. So now I you know I can remove that here, or I can remove it while I'm doing the the combine operation. Uh, but in this case I, I left it, so I can remove it later. Uh, and then it also left, you know, this little piece here, so I could remove that if I want. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And that's basically how I use the combine tool to, to cut. Um, so I'm just going to back up a few steps uh, to where we had uh, just our spanner embedded in this block before we did any operations. Uh, and I'm going to hit escape to get out of that tool. So now I'm going to show you how we use the combine tool to do a merge. So uh, quite simply, just like before, we're going to click on combine. It's going to say click on a target object. I click on my target object. Now it says click to select a cutter object, but we don't want to actually use it as a cutter now. We want to actually merge that object with, uh, with the block. So I'm going to hold down control instead, click on the spanner, and there you have it. It's completed the merge. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.